If I were a butterfly, I'd thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. And if I were a robin in a tree, I'd thank you, Lord, that I could sing. And if I were a fish in the sea, I'd wiggle my tail and I'd giggle with glee. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me your child. And I just thank you, Father, for making me me. And I just thank you, Father, for making me me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, and with your spirit. Good morning, everyone, and very welcome to our Mass on this feast of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Eternal High Priest. I'd like to pray in a special way for my niece Katie, whose birthday is today. She becomes a teenager. And as the hymn says, I just thank you, Father, for making me me. I just thank you, Father, for making Katie who she is and ask every blessing and happiness upon her this day. And as we come to the table of the Lord, we offer to him all of our desires all of our gratitude, our joys, and our hopes, and we ask him to forgive us any sins that we carry. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. You have given us the consolation of the truth, Christ have mercy. You are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. To him be glory forever, to him be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to Christ Jesus. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to Christ Jesus. To him be glory forever, to him be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Spirit. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Spirit. To him be glory forever, to him be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for your glory and the salvation of the human race 
will to establish Christ as the eternal High Priest. Grant that the people he has gained for you by his blood may through their participation in his memorial experience the power of his cross and resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. See, the days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks. And I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, but not a covenant like the one I made with their ancestors on the day I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. They broke that covenant of mine, so I had to show them who was master. It is the Lord who speaks. No, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel when those days arrive. It is the Lord who speaks. Deep within them I will plant my law, writing it on their hearts. Then I will be their God, and they shall be my people. There will be no further need for neighbour to try to teach neighbour, or brother to say to brother, learn to know the Lord. No, they will all know me, the least no less than the greatest. It is the Lord who speaks since I will forgive their iniquity and never call their sin to mind. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, you are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord will wield from Sion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to his name. Since he was son, he learned obedience through those things which he suffered. And having been made perfect, he became for all who obey him the author of eternal salvation. Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, give praise to his name. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As they were eating, he took some bread, and when he had said the blessing, he broke it and gave it to them. Take it, he said, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had returned thanks, he gave it to them, and all drank from it, and he said to them, this is my blood the blood of the covenant, which is to be poured out for many. I tell you solemnly, I shall not drink any more wine until the day I drink the new wine in the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
in the words of the psalm. From the womb before the dawn, I begot you. These prayers, these words, refer to Jesus, refer to all of us in Jesus. And on this birthday, they refer to Katie. From the womb before the dawn, I begot you. We pray that we may have a deeper sense of the wonder of who we are as God's creation. That each, in the each individual person is the highest, has the highest standing in the eyes of God. Each person, above all creation, we are the high point of God's creating. So we pray that we may honour this, that we may treasure it in ourselves, and that we may treasure it in others. We pray for people who are burdened by guilt, especially guilt of the past. That the words of the prophecy in today's first reading may be true for us all. And God says, I will never call your sins to mind. And Pope Francis refers to this as the forgetfulness of God, which is a great blessing to us, a blessing to our memories, those memories that need to be healed. And we ask Mary, who became our mother at the foot of the cross to give birth to us and you today in Jesus as we pray Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you 
and with your spirit lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering in, as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. He is Lord, He is Lord, He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, the clergy, the religious and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, Saint Joseph, 
with the blessed apostles, St. Augustine of Canterbury, St. Vincent Pilotti, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. When we pray with Jesus, we are reminded that each one of us is God's beloved daughter and son. And so we pray with confidence, with love and with tenderness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
This is the body that will be given up for you. This is the chalice of the new covenant in my blood, says the Lord. Do this whenever you receive it in memory of me. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that through our partaking in this sacrifice, which your Son commanded to be offered in his memory, you may make us together with him an everlasting oblation to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> o Lord, my heart is not proud, and my eyes are not lifted from the earth. My soul is longing for your peace. Near to you, my God, as a child rests in its mother's arms, so my soul is resting for you, my God. My soul is longing for your peace. Near to you, my God. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Katie. Happy birthday to you. Have a lovely day, lots of love, and God bless.